There's no hope. What do you mean, Sky? There's always hope. Not for me. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes, please. I want to ask you, how are you? What heaviness are you carrying? I'm fine. What tears do you hold back? What pain, what fears are kept inside? People don't even look you in the eye. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine. And you start believing the lies around you, saying that you're not good enough, and no one's gonna want you, and you'll never ever do anything good in your life. And the fear that we have is that we're gonna be alone. Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. There will never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. And these steps take you closer. That voice saying, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. And all you need is one more step to fall. So you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure and no one really likes you, no one really cares about you? You don't have to hold on to those fears. You just take one step at a time. Not to say that one day these fears are just going to completely disappear, but can you forgive those who've hurt you? Because that's when healing starts. Every time someone puts you down, will you make a decision to bring somebody else up? Picture yourself in an open area where there's no buildings and there's no shelter and there's a storm above you and this storm represents the situations in your life and you don't tell anybody what you're going through because first of all they wouldn't understand and second of all they can't even help you anyway. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. Are you not still here? You are still here. You don't have to do this alone. But hold on to that person who you think might help you. And imagine them right now saying that they can't stop the storm right now, but they will hold you and keep you warm until the storm passes. Because when they hold you, the storm's still there, but it's okay. Because they're with you all the way. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Give up or get up. When you fail, try again. It's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope.